And we're back. It's Cheetah Raven. And of course, we're up with the money because the money don't cheat. And in this vlog, we're unboxing my new bag, going on a yacht, a concert, a comedy event. And I've even got a chicken pesto recipe you don't want to miss. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is exactly what I needed. I needed some space, okay? The tail fire bags, they are a little, well, the small size, <clears throat> they are a little too small for your girl, okay? I need versatility, durability, I need style. So it comes with the crossbody strap. Yes, it does. Very durable. And look on the back. <laughs> It comes with book bag straps. That is book bag straps. Yes, you see it, okay? Look at that, ha ha. First ever unboxing of a tail fire, and I've been trying to do this for the longest time. Feel me? We also have this corned beef, this glue one, but like I said, like I said, this bag is way too small for your girl, so I will be giving these away. I will be giving these away. And this bag right here. A little too big, okay? A little too big. A little too big. I'm sure it covers the whole screen. And let me just show y'all what I was working with, okay? This was the Bally bag that I stole from my boyfriend. It's all tired and worn down. Okay, my dream is to replace it with this Prada crossbody. We won't talk about that here. We'll talk about that later. But for now, I want to see if my laptop fits in this bag. And it's perfect. It's perfect. So far, East Pet. Yes. I don't even need another color. This is all I need. Just finished my hair. I'm gonna go and sit for breakfast. Yes, so I just got my hair done and now I'm on my way to breakfast. Um, today's gonna be a really long day because we have the comedy show tonight. Yes, Country Wayne is like one of my boyfriend's favorite comedians. I've never seen them in stand up, so we're about to watch him. You know, I'm just going with the flow. I wanted to get a car wash, like get my car serviced there's so many things to get done but obviously yesterday tackled the nails this morning eight o'clock tackled the hair and um yeah and only in miami does this happen like that's a whole different lane only in miami what kind of driving comment below if this happens in your city too i know it only happens in miami that's that's wild what up, bro? All right, y'all. She had her best sex hello. hello. She's always camera ready. Yes, yes. Yes. Time. yes. <laughs> See the Versace party over there is Jolene. So I Everything good, all right, all right. I 
like how you think I'm right Always on top of right hey. Money follow you Banana follow you What's up, y'all? So it is Monday. Tripping. It's Monday at two o'clock. I have to be ready to go to the Little Dirt concert at five. So I decided to do a little bit of recording for you on the way. I just left. Shea Paula, that's so chink. Of course, she did my makeup. She slays it as always. Like, check me out. I got my Smoothie King. I always get a strawberry mango puree charge with extra sugar with strawberries. And yeah, just I'm enjoying the concert today. I'm taking it easy. I'm going to pay some bills as always. But other than that, I have nothing else planned but a good old day of fun. Listen, I gotta get better at this vlogging thing because once I do, it's over with. It's over with. It's over with. Did I hear somebody say it's over with? Because I mean it. No, but seriously, last night was the Lil Dirt concert and well, I got some pictures, some videos. There was a lot of children outside, you know? Under 18, under 10 after dark but it was very safe the venue was large it was at the bayfront amphitheater park um i had never been to that venue oh i don't think ever especially not for a concert but i know they have many of them there though dark was entertaining we had fun it was kind of like a fair style event it was nice today listen i am beat because remember friday was country wayne i don't know if i talk to you guys about that but country wayne is this atlanta based comedian i believe he does these skits but anywho went to go see him for stand up and we went to go see him for stand up um i got like a picture maybe two um but friday country wayne saturday was the yacht party where we celebrated i met these ladies at my first job we all worked together and we worked in the basement. So it's kind of ironic. Like we started from the basement and now we're here. But anywho, it was great and relaxing. Yet and still, I got in the water. I got on the jet skis. We had a great time. But I wasn't able to relax the way I wanted to. So I really need to plan a spa day. Because your girl is getting... Like I'm borderline. Not stressed. But tired. I need some something i'm tired of being tired tomorrow i'm going to get up and start my regular gym routine back in madeira i would wake up at 4 a.m hit the gym work at 6 come home at 6 p.m that's 12 hours later and i need something similar like that because at home i need to build that type of structure so for the next seven days your girl will be committing to intermittent fasting and working out every day. I'm going to start out for the first week and I absolutely have to have you guys to keep me accountable and join me on this journey if you like. Because this, this gotta go. I need to Alright guys, so for tonight we're going to have creamy garlic pesto chicken pasta. And I am substituting these noodles for a whole grain, 100%, because we're going on a diet in this house, okay? I just told you guys that. Um, this is pretty much a Publix haul. I love Publix, but these are some leftover corn on the cob, sweet mini. Uh, the mini cobs. 
of uh, Bella's chicken breast that we're going to use for tonight. Put a little 1025. I'm about to fillet those and season it right now while I'm waiting for some more groceries to arrive because I know, yes, we order everything. Yes, we do. We order all groceries. Um, I got some new seasonings just for the sake of the pesto Italian dish. So we have the pesto, of course, some Creole seasoning, which I see a lot of people use this. So we're about to try that too. Um, parsley flakes. Uh, Mrs. Dash and some garlic sauce. And on this side, we are going to transition from regular bacon to turkey bacon in my house. So we got some turkey bacon for tomorrow morning. Strawberries, I'm waiting on raspberry and blueberry, brioche bread, and this cinnamon toast, uh, cinnamon dust. So I'm gonna get started and I'll let you know. Here's your 10 step garlic chicken pesto pasta recipe. First step, clean your chicken. I don't care how you do it, whatever your method is, just get the cleaning done, okay? Step number two, fillet each chicken breast and cut into bite-sized chunks. That looks like enough for two, so this is all the meat I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna season this for later. Step three, add all seasonings. So uh, in this step, you add all seasonings and some oil into the frying pan. We don't measure, we don't judge in this kitchen, okay? Let me repeat that. We do not measure and we do not judge in Cheetah's Kitchen. Here's something you have to know as my subscriber. I do not have any measurements, okay? Once again, I am not a chef. On this channel, we do what feels right to the soul, okay? If you feel like your chicken needs heavy onion powder or even thicker diced onions, well, that's your business, okay? Not mine. And we, we mind our business. And remember that as we go, okay? Remember that. <laughs> Step four, mix it all together. Get it all up in there. I always cook two meals, so stay tuned for next week's video to see my updated French toast and honey teriyaki chicken recipe. So delicious, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Step five, slice the veggies. You can add any veggies you want, but today I chose to add onion and lemon to taste. Step six, heat your oil and add the chicken to the frying pan. The amount of oil that you use <clears throat> depends on the chicken that you use of course add enough to coat the pan but not too much you don't want sticky chicken okay or wet chicken that's not the goal step seven flip the chicken with the wrist it takes time, but make sure both sides are covered and fried equally. Like, it took me 30 minutes to create this dish, but I've edited it into like a 10 minute bit. But listen, it's gonna take you some time. So flip that chicken.
Drain the extra oil and brown each side of the chicken bites. Quick side note, you'll add this to the sauce to add a chicken taste to the pesto. You know, it's like a little, a little extra zing, a little something. Step nine, create the pesto sauce. So I did this off camera. If you guys want a sauce video, I'll totally give you one. It's not bad. Okay, so I made the sauce here. That's the creamy. The creamy pesto sauce. So 18, man. Put some cook down. You can add it however you want. Oh, right. See that? I'm gonna mix it all together. Water. Okay. <laughs> there you go, boo. Assemble your sides, place your foods, and wash the dishes as you go. Um, you know, that way you don't end up with a mountain of dishes to clean. And look at that. Thank you for watching this week's vlog. If you enjoyed this recipe or gained anything from what you've watched, please comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you next Tuesday. Remember, vlogs every Tuesday.